I think, look, the, in terms of war premiums, agreed, there is no geopolitical risk premium in the price right now. Um, and that's as much to do with the concept or the notion that demand is weak. If anything, demand has been growing at over 2 million barrels per day this year, I mean, 2.2 million barrels per day uh, next year. It should be slowing. We are expecting it to slow, um, given kind of higher interest rates and the lagged effect of that on the economy. But it's still going to grow. It will be growing by about 1.2 million barrels per day. Um, I think the bigger challenge has been a lot of traders and speculators have been badly hit this year because, um, you know, trading hasn't been easy. It's been very choppy. And we just don't have the confidence in these guys to come back in strong. So we need sustained stock draws. We had big stock draws in the DOE numbers yesterday. Uh, if we see a con continuation of that, I do think confidence is going to come back. And that's when you're going to start to see geopolitical risk premium come back to the market. Yeah, national stockpiles dropped by, by 7.1 million barrels. But you still got a, a, an inventory build at Cushing. So there's a trigger event, isn't there, at the beginning of the year. We have these additional voluntary cuts of 900,000 barrels that we spent agonizing days debating whether uh, they are robust or not. So take us through the cuts that OPEC Plus will implement. The Saudis continue with a unilateral cut of a million barrels. So take me through the deficit as you see it for Q1. When will it materialize and what size will it be? So Q1 and even early Q2, I would say the OPEC cuts mainly go towards offsetting what would have otherwise and seasonally are bills, uh, because this is when refineries go down for maintenance, right? So this is always a weak period for crude. Oil products will be very strong, so gasoline and diesel. Um, and I think OPEC is, and particularly Prince Abdulaziz, has been very clear in his views about this, that he wants to make sure inventory simply do not build. Uh, we could see a small draw, counter seasonal draw. And I think really from the lack half of the second quarter, once refineries are back from maintenance, you're going to see crude drop very sharply. In the meantime, the product markets will continue to tighten. So overall hydrocarbons will actually look tighter. It's just the products markets will be a lot stronger and crude is seasonally in its weakest period anyways. OPEC, if they manage to keep inventories in check, that would be a pretty impressive feat because usually, you know, we build first up and we draw the second half. In terms of prices, I think, again, confidence needs to come back. So we probably hover around the $80 for Brent in the first quarter. I'm not seeing a lot of upside, but second half or second quarter onwards, I do think prices will be in the 80s and probably 85 above 